know about you guys, but when I want to get away or I'm having a bad day, I just rather go home, be alone, do my thing, and then get over it. So when I saw this quote, Home is Where You Hang Your Hat by Lord John Morfin, um, there's a couple things that come to my mind. I definitely agree with it because I think that home is a place where you're able to just de stress, get away from reality, have a chance to be alone, and just feel better about yourself. So when you're home, you don't have to worry about impressing anyone. You can take off your hat. You can just be you. You can do your own thing. You don't have to impress anyone because you're around your family usually or people you care about, like your roommates or your friends. So you don't really have to put up a front and act like someone you're not. So that's when I, when I think about taking off the hat, I think about just taking off a layer or taking off a front. Also, um, being around people you care about helps you in every way possible. Being around your family or your friends will help you de-stress or relax and get over a bad day. So that's why when I think about getting, when I want to get out of a mood, bad mood or I'm in a fight with a friend or something is going on, I just like to go away into my own sanctuary and that for me that's my home because I'm around people I like. It gives me the opportunity to de-stress and just be myself without having to impress anyone. Well, this is a nice example of something I was just talking about. You missed sort of what went on before. Uh, you know, it wasn't a long speech, but you stood up, you told us what you thought, you had a, a couple of uh, points that you wanted to make. Uh, once it seemed like you'd made it, you said, let me find a graceful way to finish, and you did so, and it leaves a good impression. So even though it doesn't have as much depth or a, a lot of examples, and it's not going to be as interesting as it might be, um, you're not leaving us with a negative impression, you're leaving us with a positive impression because you seem confident while you were speaking and you're, you're saying something, look, this is what I think of what the topic was, here's how I kind of see it, and you know, I hope you see it the same way. And there you go, and you're done. And I think that that's, that's gonna, that pays all kinds of dividends in your presentation. Um, now, the content issues, I think, could still be developed. There's more that you could do with the speech. Uh, there are other ideas. I think one of the things that happens, and I've seen this repeatedly with a lot of the speakers today, is that nobody is developing uh, much of a structure for how they're going to talk about something. They, you've got an idea in your head, you get a couple of things that you think about to talk about, and then you say, so I'm, I'm prepared. If you plan and give yourself a plan, you're going to come up with more ideas once you've got a plan or a path to go down. Uh, and I just think that uh, you could probably have done that. and. As I've said to a couple of other people, you're going to think of some other things to, to say or that you could have said. Um, what, nothing that you said was wrong. Everything, that's, everything that you talked about seemed like it fit in with what we were looking for. Um, just, just not uh, particularly developed. And you, you, you could tell a more interesting story uh, and, um, and make the speech a little bit more compelling. The delivery issues, like I said, most of them are fine. Uh, you project your voice well, you've got good energy. Uh, you're pacing yourselves. 
yourself, even though you don't have a lot to say, uh, it comes across well because you're not hesitating while you're saying it. You get to the point, and again, even though you finish early, it doesn't it doesn't feel quite uncomfortable because you you've said what you had to say. And the gestures. It did seem sometimes that your gestures were a little bit limited down here at the waist level as opposed to being a little bit more involved. I like the idea of your posture being in control, but you did seem a little bit too contained, I think. Maybe you could relax a little bit. I do think that uh, maybe the best control for anxiety is just to know what you want to say and feel like you're saying it. And in your situation, I think you were doing that. All right. Thank you.